Shut up and sit down. Greetings, fellow travelers. Oblix here, and today we're learning about life according to immersive engineering. How y'all doing today? So last time we made this drill in my hands right here. And you will notice from the empty tank of gas that uh, Oblix been busy. Been making with a diggity diggity. So, let's get on back into our regular view. We're going to pop over here to the biodiesel tank and fill her up. There you go. And you will also notice that Oblix got tired of running around them caves with some iron armor and them daggum creepers and skeletons done blown some of it up. So we have upgraded fully enchanted diamond armor and we got us a diamond sword as well. So, today, today we are going to make use of this biodiesel in a little more than just a drill. We are going to make a diesel generator to give us all the power. Because when I came in here with stacks on stacks of ore and dumped them in this chest or a crate right here, and they went into this machine and it started running, and then these guys started cooking, yeah, we ran out of power but fast. Look at all that goodies we got in here. Mm -hmm. Yep, diggity diggity. So, I want power. Lots and lots and lots of power. So we're going to make that generator today. Now, to mail this bad boy, we need six steel scaffolding, five fluid pipes, a redstone engineering block, 13 heavy engineering blocks. Oh, that's going to be a pain. Four generator blocks and nine radiator blocks. Ugh, this sucker's a beast. So... I've got some stuff, but not all of it by any means. So let's take a look at what we got. I've got our four of the scaffolding, so we're going to have to make another one. We do have all the pipes, and we have the redstone uh, engineering block. We're going to need ten more heavy engineering blocks. Oy. Ten more of these bad boys. So surrounded by steel, steel mechanical components, which as you remember is two flattened steel plates and a copper piece of copper and we're gonna need some electrum so the electrum I think I've got let's see here yep we got the electrum there's our tin of that we're gonna need some steel which I've been cooking up over here so we been keeping this guy running and of course our setup just pipes everything over to here and then spits it out right here so we've got some steel here we can use and of course we got our slag as well. Now come over here. And you're gonna need some copper. Copper copper. Where's the copper? Copper there. So let's go ahead and get some steel plates smashificated. Or steel ingots smashificated into steel plates. Get that going. Let's go ahead and work on the pistons. So we're gonna need 20 pistons. So let's just grab a whole stack of wood and we're gonna need doo -doo -doo, some cobbly cobblestone and we're going to need some iron. Let's grab a stack of that. And we're going to need some redstone. Look at all this redstone I found. There's so much redstone. I don't even have fortune on my pick. I just got efficiency. We are like the redstone kings. So let's see here. There we go. Now that'll give us 21. Close enough. Let me pull out all the rest of that. Put our cobblestone back. I do like to keep things neat. There we go. And put our plankage back. And let's see, what else are we going to need? That's it. We just need these plates to finish cooking. So this will get us... Oops, we're going to need the blueprint. 
This will get us about halfway there. Got us 11. We need nine more. I had a few still plates in here. Let's go ahead and grab those. And looks like those are done. And that's still not enough, so I'm going to have to flatten some more steel. Go ahead and get that flattening. Come on! Three more! Unfortunately, it's two steel plates for each one. Takes forever! Come on! Come on! So that's one extra which will be fine. All right. So let's take our pistons, take out our extra one there, and take our steel and our electrum and Oh, I didn't realize that made two. Well, dang it. That'd have been smart to notice. <laughs> oh well. So now we have extra. There's our 13. Let's see what else we need. Tell you what, let's uh, put these in our inventory and it will tell us what all we need. So we do like that. Now we look over here and we need a couple more steel scaffolding. Let's go ahead and knock that out. So let's get to steel, scaffolding. So it's just three sticks with three pieces of steel. Do I have any more steel sticks? I have one. And that should get us the scaffolding we need. And we need to get generator blocks, four of them. All right, let's see what's involved in those bad boys. So we need more electrum, a kinetic dynamo, and steel. Woof, rabbit hole. All right, we need a bunch of LV wire surrounded by an iron ingot. All right, how much LV wire do we have? Open up our toolbox and get some out there. And there's one. Now we need what? How many of these? Was it four? Oh, four. Okay. So for four of these, we're going to need four kinetic dynamos, which means four of the copper coils. This is an expensive machine. And of course, I just made five instead of four because I'm not very smart. Hmm. So we need some redstone and some iron. Let's put that there. Redstone. And what was it? Uh, yeah, iron all the way across the bottom. Four of those. All right, there's our kinetic. Now we need, oh, each one makes two. Good enough. So really, I only need two. Man, I should learn to read that. <laughs> I don't know why I don't. Uh, let's see, and then it's just, ah, bugger. There we go. And just steal around like so. That should give us the four. Now that's 
that. So now we need nine radiator blocks. So what is involved there? Radiator. Copper, steel, and water buckets? That seems peculiar. We need nine. Okay. Don't I have a ton of buckets somewhere? Did I put buckets in here? I did not. Huh, maybe I got rid of all my buckets. We'll just make nine. Because, sure, why wouldn't you? So let's drop those in there. And that should give us enough room to get our nine buckets. We'll get some water. There we go. Back into the house. And remind ourselves what it is. Copper surrounded by steel. Now we're going to have enough. We needed nine, so yeah. That will be enough. Nine, I love the fact that those stack. And of course, again, it's two. D dang it! <laughs> I really gotta learn to look at that. Oh. Hey, Vey. Alright, so we'll pop those there. I think that is everything. Let's go ahead and clean out the rest of this mess. Except for, what was it? These can stay with me. This doesn't go in there. And these don't go in there. And this doesn't go in there. And this doesn't go in there. Good lord have mercy. That doesn't go in there. Put things back where they belong. Obelix, what's your problem? Alright. This goes here. That goes there. That goes there. That stone can go there and there. And this can stay with me. Now we'll bring all this stuff with me. Let's. Oh, it's becoming daytime. All right. Take a quick look around. Make sure no baddies coming to eat my face. And I think I want to kind of level this out just a little bit. Oh, this shovel is slow. Do I not have efficiency on here? I have fortune dead gummit. What a horrible enchant for a shovel. I want efficiency. But with immersive engineering, there's no way to get the enchant you want. You get the enchant you get. So is what it is. So let me get this leveled out and I'll bring you back when we're ready to start building the generator. Alright, got the space dug out. Now let's take a look at how to build this bad boy. I think I'm going to lay it right in here. It is pretty big. Uh, and I think I want to face it this direction. So it will take the fuel in here. And then the power comes out of the back back here, if I remember right. And we can shoot that off over there. But we can always move it around if we need to. So to build this bad boy, we want six scaffolding, six pipes, six... I don't remember if... I guess those are radiators, generator blocks, and more piping. Oof. One, two, three, four, five wide. So let's get the scaffolding and the pipes going first. So I think we'll go right there. And then let's pick this up and move this out of the way. Our piping. And then a generator block and radiator blocks one 
two, three, four, five. Is that right? I think that's right. Yep, looks good. All right. So generator, heavy, radiator, and redstone right in the middle. So let's grab the redstone. Pop it right there. Generator, I like how those connect. That's a nice texture. Those also connect with a nice texture. It's basically the same texture, just a different color. And we're going to drop these in like so. Now, let's see what the next layer is. Actually, this is the last layer. So four more heavy and a couple more radiator. And then actually it's five heavy because we want to do them in this pattern here. Now that should be the whole of the thing. Now we want to right click the central generator with an engineer hammer. Uh, okay. So where is our hammer? And Wemo. Nice. Boy, that is a cool looking generator. So here's where our fluid goes in, here and here. Ah, here's our power output. Hmm. I don't know if I like that. And the radiator blowing back this direction. I think we can make it work. Nice, nice, nice. So here's the on off switch. Yeah, I think we can add the, this lined up perfectly. We can totally work with that. Let's go get some more pipes. Do I have any in here? I do not. Let's go get some pipes. And there we go. Do, 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 do. Boop, 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 boop. Now he should be getting fuel. Now we do not want to put these LV wire connectors on here because this guy's high power. He's high voltage. So we want to switch to the high voltage. And we're going to need to put a lever on our tank here so it starts flowing out the goodness. So let's go get that. I already have one made, maybe? I do not. So we're going to need that and that. Get those in there. And. Do 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 do. should be getting fuel though he really doesn't have an interface to be able to tell but I do think we're gonna have to get him with some uh, lever action so let's get another one of those going oops get on there and get in the right place getting the fluid blue is in I'm gonna have to put a I didn't have to put pumps on these guys why would I need to put a pump on this guy is that a thing do I have to put a pump Huh. 
Those guys are on. He's on. He's on. Does he have to get fuel on both sides, maybe? I don't think so. I can't imagine that's the case. That would be silly. I wish it had an interface to show you it had fuel in it. That would be nice. Alright, well let's try it. Maybe it doesn't run if it doesn't have power, if it's not needing to run. Because there's no power coming up, being used off of it. So let us get some... Do I already have some cooked clay? Not really. Let us get some clay and some copper. So that builds the little ones. Now how do we build the big ones? Uh, I can't remember. Gonna remember. So that's the HV relays. HV connectors and HV relays. The connectors are aluminum. Well, we have enough of that, don't we? Plenty of that. So there's connectors. The relays are aluminum and insulating glass. See why we wanted all that cactus? Mm-hmm. And we need some iron grit. So let's go get some cactus. I think I've got some out here. Yeah. We're just going to cook up a stack. The whole stack. Cook it, cook it, cook it, cook it real good. Do 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 do. Yeah, okay, I should never do that again. There we go, cactus green and showing up. Now I need to make some iron grit do that. Oh, we already have iron out here. Uh, that one. We'll do... Eh, we'll just do this. Now the problem is it's going to want to go into our smelter and be smeltificated. So I'm just going what, to... What, what? Okay, so it jumped off. That's fine. So I'm just going to break this so it'll stop right there. And somehow I keep winding up on this stupid to be off of dumb thing. With the, there we go. So it'll end up right there. And we'll come over here and we'll put our iron in there. And that should grindificate it up for us. And we should get our 32 iron grit out of there. And I think I also needed... Does it have to be cyan stained clay? Or cyan glass? Wow. Oh, it looks like it could be others. Yeah, okay, basically any glass. We just need glass. In quantity. So, do I already have some? I have some. 
So that's the start. Almost done. Before I forget, our conveyor should be in there. And we'll go put this bad boy back where he belongs. Now, this is. Oops, I didn't get our cactus. Cactus green. glass and iron grit. Then we can do this and aluminum. And there we go, 40 of them, just like that. Now we need to make some high voltage wire. So that is Let's see, the HV wire is aluminum and steel. So, let's go in here. And we're just going to make a bunch of it because we have the resources. Why wouldn't we? Except for, I'm going to start with a smaller number. just so we can get going on this. Nice. And just clean up a little bit. stuff. We'll keep the dirt for scaffolding. I will put the hammer away and the wire away. There we go. I wonder why those didn't stack. Yeah, let's go ahead and make some more of that. done. Just going to get some sticks while we're waiting. We'll use birch to make some more. Let's just make as much as we can of the high voltage wire. And we'll go ahead and pop these guys down 
it has three points you can draw power from. I think it's a fi like 5,000 RF a tick, if I'm not mistaken. So we need to connect it to something. But in order to connect it into these low voltage, we need a transformer. So let's go take a look at that guy. See what that's going to take. Where is it? All right, let's go ahead and get an HV transformer here. So we need an MV wire and an HV wire. And then this guy will do from MV to LV. So we got to get this guy first. So we need an HV coil block, which is HV wire around a piece of iron. So HV wire we got. Iron we got. And we need an HV wire connector. And we do need an MV wire, which is iron and terracotta okay there's those and we need just a bunch of iron hey looks like we have enough so we need one of those one of those uh, one of those and some of that there's our HV so that's MV to HV now we need MV to LV. We're going to need an electrum wire. So we need to get some electrum cooking in the old wire smasher. And what else do we need? Need some more iron. And we need an LV connector out of here, which we have. So there's our wire. We're gonna need sticks. Where's sticks? Oh, already got the sticks. So pop those there, pop these here. Then we're going to need a piece of iron. And there's our block. There's this. Low voltage and medium voltage. And there's our medium converter. So HV and regular. So let's go see what we can do with this bad boy. So we want the HV like right there. Now we have to connect the proper cable to the proper sides. So we're going to connect the HV from here to there. Then we're going to put down our medium to low voltage. And we're going to use the medium voltage wire to go from there to there. Now we can bridge into our LV system using the LV wire from there, if it'll reach to there, which it did. Nice. And if we flip the switch, Absolutely nothing happens other than it runs for a split second. Is that because we're not needing any power? Yeah. Because we're not needing a lick of power. Now I want to run some additional LV wire across here so we can make use of this. Let's get this out of there and get up on here. And LV 
from there to there. LV from there to there. I think I'm actually going to break this one down. And then reconnect it because I, I don't want it running through the house. It, it was running right through the wall and that just looked tacky. So this will get rid of that. And I should probably switch all this over to like medium or something. Ooh, it burned the wire up. You saw that? Interesting. Too much. Why would it be too much power here, but not enough power when, it, not too much when it was going through the house? Hmm. Okay. Fair enough. Let's switch it to medium. Or even then, high. I think medium will do fine, though. Oh, wow, it burned all that up. Hmm. Why did it burn that up? Might as well transfer in. I uh, don't want to know that. I want to know. Let's see here. The connector limits how much power can be in and out, but multiple connectors can unify into a single wire, allowing you to combine the transfer over longer ranges. Note, however, the maximum transfer rate of the wire must not be exceeded or else the wire will burn up. So, we exceeded 2048 RF per tick. That's why those wires burned up. And that wire is very glitchy. Uh, so I think what I want to do is break this. break this, I want to just switch to medium. So I think I will put this like right here maybe. Okay, so we're switching to medium. That's going to mean more of these. And we haven't even made the other connectors. We're going to have to go make those. And we're going to need some more cables, so let's get some more Electrum cooking. Gold and silver. Now I'll just make a ton of Electrum for us. And to make the medium voltage relays is just iron and terracotta. We're going to need some more terracotta cooking. So let's get that going. Get that cooking down for us. And let's see where our kiln is at. Not very far. That's a few wire anyway. And I know I said I'd keep you guys here through most of this stuff, but I will probably skip over some of this because it's going to be pretty boring just sitting here watching me craft until we get enough stuff to do what we want to do. Well, that'll get us started anyway. Now, let's get a little more wire. We can at least.
least get some more wire going. That should get us started anyway. And connect. And connect. Why can I not attach that wire there? This is MV wire. This is an MV transformer. There it went. Well, that's weird. Okay, fair enough. Strange. And let's disconnect. Hello, in the hole. This guy. And reconnect it with MV instead of LV. We should be able to connect it there. And that should provide him plenty of power. And then let's rip out this guy here. Hello. Climb. Why can't I climb this pole? There we go. And there we go. I'm just going to switch all this over to MV. Why did I put that MV up there? That is the wrong one. cooking with gas. All right, let's get another one going on up here. Whoops. Hello. Ah, rah, rah, rah. Let me up. There we go. Yeah, we are going to need another MV connector. Which is okay. Let's get more terracotta. We did, and we're gonna need some more iron. Oops, got some in here, and burning through the iron. That's for sure. I made a bunch of steel earlier, so that may have a little something to do with it. Let's go ahead and make another. Notice it. All right. Now we can go up here. Connect there to there. We're going to come up here. Connect that to that. And there, the diesel generator should power itself. Hello, Skelly Bobber. Boy, you are the worst shot ever. It did. Should probably put some more torches down. Since I did the digging, uh, I may have removed a few torches. I get too close to the ice because it will melt because it is not packed. I think that's probably too close. We'll find out. I really don't want Maddie spawning over here, blowing up my generator. likely to destroy it myself. I don't need their help. There we 
go. Now, I wonder if this would be a good place to put this guy. Or we'll take it out of here and into there. That was weird. How you saw it just switch sides on us? Hmm. I don't like that. I put it down the way I wanted it. Stay the way I want you, please. Oh, whatever. You s silly, stupid thing. Go here. Maybe then it'll stay in the right way. Weird, it stayed in the right way. Who to whatever. Well, whatever. Now, is this going to burn up? Yes. Still not enough. Hmm. means I'm going to have to switch all those over for LV, or uh, for MB. Why did it let me place them in the first place if it knew they weren't yeah. enough? I do not understand. Alright, let's get an MV on top, which means we're going to have to switch all... I can't get up there. Get up oh come on and it goes invisible on top of that weird nope you get out you come in haha <laughs> that means I'm going to have to switch every one of these out for MVs, which means I don't have enough MVs. That's what that means. I'm going to have to get, ah, dang it. I thought I had a good jump there. I need to get up here and take all of these off and replace them all with MV. Hello, Mr. Ripped Out. Why you rip out, Mr. Close? Get back where you belong. And what was inside you just disappeared. That's freaky. Okay. We'll fix that in a little bit. So I can do five of the many more than five that I have to do. Two, three, four, and five. And I'm going to need to make some more cable. connected there we go now those should be powered again and should be getting water again and I'm gonna have to make some more cable and some more MVs so There we go. Cable, no, but we should have some Electrum over here. We'll just pop that in there and say smash it all.
get us some. Let's get us moving forward anyway. And let's get out here. Let's see if we can get on there again. Nope. Oh, why can't I get my jump going? There we go. That's a better way to do it. Nice. Now, if these burn up again, we'll have to switch to the HVs. Which will stink. But we're looking good. Nice. Everything's wired up. And nobody's complaining. All right. This guy is spitting out giblets. See our generator running over here. We definitely hear it when we come over here. Oh my goodness, is it loud? See the fan spinning? How cool is that? Very cool, very cool. Definitely producing power for us. Large quantities. Come over here, we can't hear it anymore, so that's nice. You see the march of ants of materials running in to be produced, uh, to be refined, to continue powering the diesel generator. So right now it's pretty much self-sufficient. It's, it's supplying power for itself and nothing else. But we're definitely going to be adding some additional things down the road for it to be powering. As well, I want to connect it up into our original system here. Uh, get it powering things inside the house again as well. But I do think that is all the time. Well, you know what? We're going to do one more quick thing. One more super quick thing before we go. Because that generator is so loud. Iron rods and white wool. Tell me I've got some wool. And give me some iron. Nice. out ourselves <laughs> and let me go ahead and empty the old inventory just just a scoosh we're we're kind of we're kind of overburdened a little bit well, we'll hang on to that but we can definitely lose some of the junk Listen to how quiet it is with those headphones on. That's hilarious. It muffles everything. Let's come on out here by our generator. Nice. All nice and quiet. But I think that that is all the time I got for today. I sure do appreciate you guys coming to hang out with, as always, checking out our headphones and our generator and our transformers and until next time get out there and make some noise see ya